food. I planted it, grown it, plucked it, picked it, cropped it, killed it, gutted it, caught it, frozen it, served it, chewed it, tasted it, swallowed it, munched it, peeled it, burned it, baked it, fried it, boiled it, and loved it. So let's talk about it. Meet the eggplant, or aubergine, or brinjal. Uh, it's believed to originate from India, and botanically it's actually called a fruit, but we know it as a vegetable, so it's a bit like tomatoes in that sense. Um, the plant itself is from the species nightshade, which, uh, don't be alarmed, it's not poisonous, not like the deadly nightshade. Um, it's also related to tomatoes and potatoes, as well as tobacco. And an is interesting fact is uh, nine kilos of eggplant contains the same amount of nicotine as one cigarette. That's pretty cool. But you have to eat a lot to have a cigarette, I suppose. Uh, traditionally, it was white-skinned fruit um, and a little bit smaller, uh, like more of an egg shape, and that's where the name came from, eggplant. Nowadays it can be found in with a white skin, can be found with green or black or purple. Uh, it even comes in a variegated and striped type. Any number of different colour combinations and sizes from small and thin to long uh, elongated bell shapes. <clears throat> now preparation. Eggplant has a, a million ways that it can be prepared and served. Normally preparation, you, you slice it or cut it and then salt it then rinse it and drain it. Uh, and this is what, what's known as degorging. Uh, degorging softens the, uh, the flesh. It also reduces the amount of fat that the vegetable or fruit can absorb. And it does remove bitterness. Now, through years of cultivation, the amount of bitterness has been reduced. So it's not completely necessary to degorge modern sort of purple eggplants. I do always degorge it myself. Uh, only because I do like the, the fact that it, it helps soften it and it also reduces the amount of fat absorption that happens. Uh, particularly with the type of cooking that you do with eggplant, without a lot of oil in your pans that it can stick, uh, unless you're grilling it or something like that. And in that sense you would probably marinate it, uh, hence it would absorb more oil as well. When you cut it, you'll find inside it has a fairly white flesh and a very thin a skin layer and as you slice through it you'll notice you get down to the areas of seeds. The skin itself is extremely edible uh, when cooked and prepared correctly. So you'll see there with, uh, with the seeds nice and small in there and the flesh itself is actually quite quite heavy. When you salt it, you sort of lay it out into, into a dish and sprinkle it with some just plain table salt and follow that with some more layers and more salt. As we said before, this is known as degorging. Okay, you just let that sit for five minutes and then rinse it, drain it, and you can tap it with some paper towel and then go on to prepare it as you wish. There are some very traditional dishes eggplant is used in. They include moussaka, ratatouille, uh, sambar, chutneys, and curries. Also one which I've always loved is called baba ganoush, which is where the eggplant itself is cooked uh, in foil in the skin and then the, the whole mixture is pureed up with sesame paste and uh, other garlic and other flavours and makes a beautiful dip spread on bread. Baba ganoush is really, really nice. We're just going to pan sear some. This is probably the easiest way to prepare eggplant, particularly to get its flavour out. And um, this can be used in salads or um, as an accompaniment to a hot meal. You can also use uh, this style of preparation to, um, to build up an eggplant stack with other uh, grilled vegetables. 
uh, can also be done with a char grill uh, or on the barbecue. Just a similar method, just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, just grill it until it starts to, uh, to come through. You'll see in sections it'll start to go through a little bit yellower and that means that the, the absorption of the, oil, of the oil showing through and the heat starting to cook the flesh. Small amount of colour on the outside. You'll find if you do it on a char grill, you'll get a lot more colour through the through the flesh, uh, and you'll probably have to use more oil, otherwise it will stick. And that's ready. Now uh, I'm going to get my son Ethan to come over because he was the one that wanted to try eggplant. So come on, Ethan, get over here. Cameraman one. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Hello. All right, so. He wanted to know what eggplant is and what it tastes like, so we're going to give him a shot. It's the first time he's ever tasted it, and I think all young people should be giving these things a try. <laughs> oh, that's probably not the reaction I'm oh. <laughs> Eggplant is actually known as the king of the vegetables. Thank you very much. That. <laughs>